Hello, welcome to the beginning of week 52. That means this coming up week, October 29, will be my one year since my surgery. So I just got back from vacation. As you can see, I am in my house, not in the beach house, tier. Um, first of all, uh, I just wanna say thank you to Mini Me in Tennessee who, why am I about to cry? <laughs> um, I saw her videos before I decided on my surgery and what I basically binge watched from the beginning of when she decided to, when she was getting the sleeve to then transitioning to gastric bypass. And at this point I was just sort of looking because I had lap band um, and I wanted to get it filled. And I went to a local surgeon who was able to refill the lap band and he told me that gastric bypass was still the, the gold standard and um, that he was taking out a lot of light lap bands. And at that point, I did not care. Um, I know a lot of people are scared about surgery. Um, I was in a place where I did not care about complications. So I'll let you take that from that what you will. And I basically, within 10 minutes, was like, yeah, that's fine. We'll just do gastric bypass. <laughs> And I gave them my insurance and took all the info. Thankfully, I, <laughs> they were able to establish that my insurance would cover most of it. I just had um, a copay. Um, and basically, three days later, I lost my job. And I was like, I have gotten into this. I don't know if I'm going to have insurance. Um, that part was taken care of. Um, my employer did keep my insurance until the end of the year and I just started looking on YouTube because at that point I was, I wasn't even worried about the surgery part. I was worried about the money. And so now it's almost a year, um, over a year since I made the decision. Um, and Lisa, mini me in Tennessee was the first person that I saw quite consistent videos and I just followed her journey, um, one video after another. And by that point, by the end of watching her videos, I was excited. I wasn't just doing it as a last resort or I don't care about my body anymore. I did it because she inspired me to look forward to something. And that's how my view changed um, from the doctor just saying this is what people do um, and me not caring about my body. I actually ended up doing it because I was excited and wanted to change my body. And that is because of Mini Me in Tennessee, her consistent videos, um, and her just being a positive um, person about it. And also talking about the things that suck about it, you know, like stalls and not knowing what to eat and dumping and all of those things. Um, just being honest with her journey and um, it inspired me to start making my own videos that I did not post. <laughs> but I thought, well, here's one thing that I can do to keep me accountable is just record a video, good or bad, every single week. And... In early September I posted them all and now I'm doing all my videos in real time and it's so perfect that um, going into the anniversary of one year since surgery that uh, Lisa has given me a shout out and it, it means so much to me and I don't know if this person that I've never met um, and you know we've come uh, I've commented on her videos a couple times and she's responded um, if she knows how much she's changed my life and I'm really grateful for that so um, thank you Lisa thank you to my new followers um, I will continue to be consistent on my weekly videos and updates um, 
feel free to ask me questions. I know someone had asked about um, going from lap band to gastric bypass or RNY, um, or just, I guess, doing anything from lap band to something else, um, whether it's VSG or RNY. <laughs> I never knew like all the different terms, um, except for lap band and gastric bypass. So um, I apologize. I, just to be clear, I had the lap band, I got it taken out, and I got gastric bypass or R and Y. Um, but I don't have an update weight wise because I have not had been a scale. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the first thing I did when I got home was weigh myself. Um, it's the end of the day. So the good news is it's not like wildly different. So this is, I weighed about what I would expect to weigh at the end of the day. I did not, I don't think I've lost any weight. So I don't know if I've hit that 80 pound mark yet. Um, but you know, we'll find out tomorrow morning and maybe, you know, a day or two, um, after that and, and see what happens. I hope I hit it by October 29. That's my one year. Um, so that it seems like a nice round number. Um, and then plus a little, because you have to like weigh in with clothes, you know, and it sucks. Like when you weigh, you reach some goal and then you go to the doctor's office and you're like two and a half pounds above and you're like, no, I promise I weighed less than this. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'll keep this short because I don't really have any news, but I just wanted to thank everyone who has subscribed. Thanks to Lisa, uh, Mini Me in Tennessee. If she watches this, Lisa, you have inspired me more than you'll ever know. Um, and following your journey, the ups and downs and everything that you've talked about both on, on that channel and on your other channel, um, I just thank you so much and I can't wait to see um, how you do with combining both channels because um, I know you'll be great no matter what you do and um, I'll watch no matter what you do um, just because I think of you as a friend because um, I've gotten to know you through the videos um, and you know, a friend of mine encouraged me to post these because he thought that maybe I could help someone and that's exactly what Lisa has done for me. So, Lisa Power. Um, all right, that's it. Um, I will see y'all next week with uh, an actual weigh-in update and maybe like a year sort of retrospective of my year um, since my surgery. So, thank you again, and I'll catch y'all next week.